hello, hello everyone. Just here making a quick video to show off the new thing I've been working on in my spare time. Ta-da! One of Source Filmmaker's largest model packs now available in Blender and ready to use. This asset pack contains a little over 7,500 models that, yes, I had to port, prep, organize, and label every single one of these models to ensure that the library is as easy to use as it can be. As the assets are integrated into Blender's native asset browser, it's as easy as dragging and dropping whatever models you need into your scene. A change I absolutely took advantage of when looking back at how I had to scene build environments in Source Filmmaker. On the workload side of things, as you can imagine, it was long and arduous. I spent the first two weeks alone on the first 1,500 models, porting and prepping everything by hand using only Source.io, and I knew I couldn't do it for the other 6,000. That's where my friend Eagle came to my rescue. Eagle is a professional computer programmer, and he whipped up a Python script that would allow me to take out a huge chunk of prep time and make the process a lot more bearable. Thanks to the script he made me, I was able to breeze through the other 6,000 and actually get this pack out to you today. So, I have to say a special thank you to Eagle for the script, Harry 101 UK who ported the models from Source 1 to Source 2, which is where I'm porting from, and all of the add-on developers who make the tools that make our jobs easier. I set out on the motive of porting over 7,000 models because I wanted to be able to help out my fellow artists who may already be familiar with Blender and to those who may just be starting out. It can be overwhelming having to look at an empty viewport and consider all of the models that you may need to look for on Sketchfab or any other 3D model website, especially if you're a Source Filmmaker user transitioning to Blender and losing the convenience of the Steam Workshop. It's a huge change, and I wanted to be able to help out people not worry too much about gathering materials to populate the scene and more just kind of get to the creating art part. So my greatest hope is that people find this library useful and have an easier time doing what they love. The instruction, information, and download links are listed on my website linked in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a splendid day.